show your support. Like, share and subscribe. Hello, I am that British guy and I have a question for you. Is Johnny Gargano the new Daniel Bryan? I believe so and this is why I think that. At the moment in WWE we have very few true baby faces and ones that get a real baby face response. Ones that the crowd really want to get behind and really want to see succeed. Like with Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania 30. The crowd were desperate for him to finally ascend to the top of the mountain and stand tall as the champion and the response to it was massive. Now I know it's not quite on the same level as that but just take a look at the response the crowd gave Johnny Gargano at NXT TakeOver Philadelphia. They were desperate for him to finally climb to the top of the NXT mountain and everyone was watching the match with apprehension because they assumed that there would be some kind of Tommaso Ciampa interference. Thankfully there wasn't in the match and we were treated to a brilliant match between Gargano and Almas and credit to both men for that but you could just tell that the the crowd were desperate for him to get that victory and were so gutted when he didn't. And this has really stemmed... He, he had such a, a nice run into this um, at the beginning of his breakup with Tommaso Ciampa. Wobbling a bit at the beginning against Almas, funnily enough, um, in the summer and sort of losing a couple of matches that you expected him to win on NXT... TV and when he won his match to get into the number one contenders fatal four way I think that was the first sign that you could tell that the crowd really really wanted to get behind him and really help push him up to the top of the card and when obviously the other three competitors were put into that match as well from their qualifying matches and you had Alistair Black and Adam Cole in that match I don't know if anyone really thought deep down that he would be the one to succeed in that match and we all got what we wanted thankfully he got his opportunity obviously there was a bit of funny goings on with Black and Cole which took both of those guys out and Sullivan sort of ate the pin but Sullivan has been built up as an absolute monster so for Gargano to overcome that it was a real David versus Goliath moment there and that really shot him up in in the eyes of, of everyone else that maybe were were thinking mm, d does this guy really uh, really deserve it and it was really nice to see that positive reaction now obviously coming out of TakeOver Philadelphia he wasn't able this time to win the big one and then after the beatdown as well from Tommaso Ciampa after the match it's almost like the crowd now are accepting that he's got to tick this one off first he's got to get past Ciampa first he's got to put those demons finally to rest and I have a feeling that will lead into a, a match between the two of them at Wrestlemania weekend and that will hopefully be a number one contenders match or lead to some kind of number one contender's chance for Gargano to finally succeed in the summer at SummerSlam weekend. Meaning that he could hold the belt up until Royal Rumble weekend the following year in 2019, possibly drop the belt there and maybe get one more opportunity at WrestleMania and sort of go out on a loss there as is usual in NXT to then come out on Monday Night Raw the following night to hopefully a massive reaction from the crowd much like Daniel Bryan is still getting. Hopefully this is the first step on to a very long and successful career. Many successes in his future but we will just have to wait and see. What do you think? Do you think that Johnny Gargano potentially is going to be the next Daniel Bryan? Because I don't see him returning to a WWE ring, unfortunately. Or 
Could he even surpass that? Who knows? Please let me know what you think in the comments below. I have been that British guy, and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.